and destroy all neighbors. The guy next door just may be the change he needs. Take a look. Prague is, Prague is like life, man. It's complex. It's overwhelming and confusing, always changing. Prague artists take every idea they have and put it into every single song. You know, you'll find one verse that has flute, didgeridoo, and a washboard and a synth. It's just wild. And joining us from the movie is an actor who's been in the game for some time, now starring in movies such as Bill and Ted Excellent Adventure, Franchise, and Lost Boys. So please welcome to the show actor, producer, and director, Alex Winter. Thank you. What's Thanks up? for having me. How are you? Good. Good to be here. Good to see you. So great having you here. So tell us what exactly was going on there in the movie. It's a it's a really fun, crazy movie made by a bunch of friends, a lot of improv comedy people. Yeah. It's completely whacked out. I'm buried under you know, five pounds of prosthetic makeup. Yeah. Kind of like I did in Bill and Ted with the old age yeah. makeup and yeah. things like that. Um, a lot of the same people from that came and did the makeup effects on this, so okay. it's kind of an in-camera, physical effects-driven movie on okay. Shudder, so it's a, it's all in the spirit of fun. It's completely, it's called a horror comedy, but I, I defy you to be scared. By we this love thing. that. <laughs> well, what, is, what is the premise and plot of the actual movie? It's uh, Jonah Ray Rodriguez, who's great, who you were just seeing there. I'm the, the head next to him that looks very strange. Um, uh, is a a young musician living in a in like a like we all have in a crummy apartment building mm -hmm. filled with weird people, and this very loud giant scary neighbor moves in next door, and uh, torments him or so he perceives. Okay. Um, and he inadvertently kills me pretty early in the film, and <laughs> it, it, he becomes what we call a serial manslaughterer. Um, and of course, you realize that you know it's this guy who's really got the problems, not the neighbors, which is <laughs> not so uncommon funny. for people who live in a building where they're sure everyone around them is the worst neighbor. Until right. they realize it's them, they're the worst neighbor. Yeah. So tell us about you, the worst neighbor. Yes, we we've had this conversation when we were shooting because you it's everyone comes to the realization when at some point, either post college or whenever you're living in some crummy yeah. building that you're just dying to get out of in some job that you don't want. Um, and that neighbor next door is just making your life miserable. And then one day you wake up and you realize that it's actually you, you're yeah. the problem, you know? Yeah. So that's your character. That was, that was my, that's my character. But that was also, I mean, I lived that too, you know? <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, I've lived in, I lived in apartments all over the city coming out of NYU. And like, there was always some neighbor who was making my life miserable. And, you know, I think it's a, it's a coming of age moment when you realize that maybe you're the one that needs to yeah. change. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, what do you think it is? What, yeah, wait, so, yeah, hi, it's me. I'm the problem. It's me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Taylor Swift. Uh, so what is, you know, when you live in New York City, what was the worst neighbor you've ever experienced? I had one that used to ha literally, it felt like the speaker was against the wall and the bass was in my apartment and the music was playing from like 12 to 2 in the morning. Yes. That's I had the exact same, exact same issue. Really? The only problem was I was your neighbor. Uh -oh. So I thought I was great. I thought I was th this model, but then I was a grown up. I was living in a loft in Chelsea. I had a good stereo system. I brought with me from <laughs> LA. I had the neighbors downstairs that I loved. And one day he knocks on my door, and it wasn't that late. And he said, "Let me explain acoustics to you." <laughs> he says, "He says your speaker basically becomes a woofer, yeah. yes. turns my speaker, my ceiling into a woofer, and I have a three-year-old. I'm going to kill you." Oh mm -hmm. my gosh! Um, and that's when I realized I was the bad man. Right. That's so many. Yeah. That's so funny. So many people can relate to that, and so many people can also remember you from Bill and Ted. Yeah. Hello. It's been a while. It has. That we did a third one not too long yeah. ago, yeah. to be fair. Yeah, but it's so great, though. I mean, people are probably wondering, like I did, I asked you during the break, do you still have a great relationship with Keanu Reeves, and how often do you guys talk to each other? Uh, I mean, we've been close friends almost our whole lives at this point. There's certain people, we just did a Lost Boys reunion uh, not too long ago with uh, me and Kiefer and Jason, and uh, it was kind of a similar thing where when you come up, I started in the business when I was very young. I was mm -hmm. on Broadway all through my childhood. Yep. So um, when you come up young, these are like your social group too. Yeah. It's not just that you're acting, and these are like your friends that you Family. have big moments with in early in your youth. So we've all stayed pretty close. I mean, the whole gang of us have stayed close. What's That's the awesome. rumor about a possible fourth? Look, we we love working together. Yeah. Like Keanu and I, and the two writers, and Dean Paris, the director, the whole kind of family uh, has been together a long time. So we're as much as I can say is we're working on an idea. You never know. I don't know if we'll get it off the ground. Yeah. It has to. So many things have to go right. 
Um, the fan base is there. The yeah, fan base has been really sure. lovely, and they've held out through thick and thin. It yeah. took us a long time to get Bill and Ted 3 off the ground. It came out during COVID. It was all yeah. very, we were all in the same boat, you know. <laughs> we all lived it. Um, and I think it's similar here. We want to know the story works and yeah. all that. But the guys have a great idea, so we're playing with it. Yeah. Ooh, let's okay. hope so. I know a lot of people are going to be rooting for that. It'd be yeah. fun. All right. Thanks yeah. for coming in. Thank you. It's good to All see right. you. Looking forward to see your bad neighbor. Yeah. yeah. Did you retire that <laughs> subwoofer, whatever the heck it was? I immediately. Yeah. Yeah. All right.